My name is Alex Aguilar. My DJ name is DJ Train. I've been DJing for a few years now of my life, and I really enjoy it. I like the music and everything that I have to do in DJing, whether it's setting up the equipment or creating a mix so well that you can't even hear the next song coming in. I love to DJ as my main weekend activity and I enjoy the atmosphere of parties. It feels good to know how to set up all the equipment and connect the right cables to the right spots. It's also about being able to mix the next song at the right time and make the same sounds match up so it doesn't sound like noise. The key to DJing is reading energy. I like to make sure to read the energy of the people at a party to see where to take the music next. It's not that it's easy to learn how to do all of this, but once you got it all down, it can seem easy. I have to admit, I am most influenced by DJ Quest, who happens to be my dad. What's up? It's DJ Quest, a scratch DJ out of San Francisco Bay Area. Well, my inspirations, um where we're not just uh, individuals, but there were also uh, uh, just styles of music from the early 80s. I was uh, very influenced by that. Um, definitely Electro has been a big influence on me. And the uh, early, uh, or what we consider old school hip hop. Everything I know about DJing is from my dad. He has been DJing since 1986 and is still going strong. My dad had a band that was called Live Human, which was a mix of techno and hip-hop instrumental music. It included a DJ, my dad, a bass player, Andrew Cushion, and a drummer, Albert Mateus. When I was younger, I just thought my dad was a regular person and didn't realize the full scope of his DJing work. I think that the music he does is very unique and influential. It gives out a very rare type of flow that everyone can enjoy. There is also a group of DJs that he is in called Bulletproof Scratch Hamsters, which was created in 1992 and included DJ Quest, DJ Eddie Def, and DJ Q. Then a few years later added the newer additions DJ Mars and the rapper MC Eddie K. This is a group of Scratch DJs. Scratching is the manipulation of a record back and forth to create a sometimes percussive um, but funky sound. They also had changed their name to what it is known as today, Bulletproof Space Travelers. My dad continues his DJing work by teaching classes to local people who are interested in the DJ role and continues to DJ at parties. Well, one of the things that I like to uh, uh, teach the younger DJs is that there's a variety of different styles out there and that uh, you definitely need to learn not just the equipment and the skills, but also the history, a little bit of the history, a little bit of the background of what DJing is. Today, the whole theme of DJing has changed. Today, a DJ could be a person with speakers and a laptop. So a DJ that only uses laptop is not a DJ. Um, the word DJ comes from the actual word disc jockey. So if you're not using a disc, then you're not a jockey. All you would have to know is matching up the sounds, setting up your speakers, and running the program that you are using to play the music. Whatever. But if you want to be a DJ, you have to know the components of it. You have to know how to create powerful art. My dad is proof of a constant creation, showing that DJing isn't totally easy. It takes time, talent, work, determination, and a lot of creativity.
Music is everything to me as a DJ and as a person. And as a person. And as a person. And as a person. I, I. I cover bowls and shells like veils, cover holes in Israel. Make mail our sales, our product and cut off scales. Quest rock bells, I rock mics. I rock off the top and keep rocking non stop. Look. Folks in the motion with a without promotion, open or closing. Yep, your crowd is left frozen on the wheels. He is still, he is so fresh. He is, we is be like that. Be like Zoro, but no mask, no sword. Mark a mic on your back, sucker. That's my word, so check it. I could tell you who I am, like that'll change your mind. Or uh, uh, without a rhyme, like a nine off my waistline. You could be blind, but fine.